guys, it's Jenny C and welcome to my channel. Today we're making something super delicious, super nutritious, and super easy to make. This is my favorite thing to make lately and it's of course my favorite thing to eat lately too. This is my high protein vegan pancake recipe. This recipe is high in protein, high in fiber, and has some omega-3s in it thrown in there too. So it's really good for you and it tastes amazing. And it literally takes five minutes to make. Crazy. Let's get into it because we only got five minutes to do this. Come on. Okay you guys, let's get into making my five minute high protein vegan pancakes. All you're gonna need are these five ingredients. Literally, that is it. Here we go. First ingredient is going to be your pancake mix. This is Birch Blender's Pancake and Waffle Mix. You can use any kind of pancake mix you want, but this one is specifically vegan and high protein, so I recommend using something like this. So we're gonna be trying this one out today. Next up, we're going to need some chia seeds. These chia seeds I pick up at my local Costco, but chia seeds are available pretty much anywhere these days. Third ingredient we're going to need is some vegan butter. I love this vegan butter. Earth balanced, soy free vegan butter. One of my favorites for sure. But if you don't want to use vegan butter, you can always opt for something less processed like coconut oil or avocado oil. Fourth ingredient you're going to need is water. And the fifth ingredient is going to be any topping you want to add to your pancakes. You can do anything from maple syrup to peanut butter, whatever you want. I'm going to show you my favorite toppings for this recipe at the very end, so stay tuned for that. But let's get into making the pancakes right now. Here we go. When I tell you this is super easy, I'm not kidding you. All you're gonna do is pour in one serving, I did two, but if you're making it just for yourself, go ahead and pour in one serving of your pancake mix and the appropriate amount of water for it. Then you're just going to add about one tablespoon of chia seeds per serving. Again, I did two servings, so I added two tablespoons of chia seeds. Then just go ahead and mix it around and as I was mixing, I noticed that it's a little bit thick, so I added a little bit more water, obviously because the chia seeds are absorbing a lot of the water. So you'll need to add a few tablespoons more water than the pancake mix requires. Now you're going to add some butter to a pan on a medium heat and you're going to add in your pancake batter. When it's ready to flip, go ahead and just check to see that golden brown color and then flip it right over. Then you're going to smear around that butter a little bit, maybe add a little bit more if you need to, and continue adding your pancakes in. Typically you can do about a three to four inch diameter pancake, but you can make it as small or as big as you want. And now we're ready for toppings, yay! <laughs> so I made two small pancakes and one of them came out extra big, so I just kept the two small ones for me to eat. So just eat as many as you want, of course. Now you're gonna add your toppings. Like I said, you can do whatever you want, but my favorite combination is banana, honey, and almond butter. It is so good, I can't even begin to explain. Blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, banana, a dash of cinnamon, peanut butter, almond butter, honey, agave, maple syrup, literally whatever you can think of, you can add to your pancakes. All right, you guys, we are finished making these pancakes. So easy, so quick, and look at how delicious these look. <gasps> look at this. Let's give this a try. Here we go. That looks amazing. Well, it's a lot. Mmm. <laughs> oh my gosh, so good, you guys. Oh, delicious. I can't wait to eat all of it and maybe even the other pancakes that I made with it too. This is like one serving of the pancake mix. I made two other pancakes. One was very big, so I didn't want to eat three at once because I wasn't sure if I was that hungry for it. But I mean, after trying it, 
I might just be. That is so freaking good. You have to try this recipe, you guys. I thoroughly recommend almond butter and honey. Key point here is that if you add honey, it's no longer gonna be vegan, but you can add anything like agave or maple syrup, and banana just adds a nice, nutritious, and delicious touch. So definitely recommend this, you guys. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button and hit subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure that post notification bell is turned on so that you'll be notified as soon as my videos go up. I always reply to early comments. I put out a new video every week on Wednesday, so I'll see you guys again next Wednesday. Bye! take off my lipstick now. Removing the lipstick to eat this. Otherwise I'm gonna be eating cheap lipstick and that is not, that is not what I want to do today. Oh, I just dropped a piece of banana on the floor. Almond butter makes the world go round. So, that was too much. <laughs>